the volunteer dive team who found missing teen Keely Rodney, in her submerged car still feels her death is suspicious, but does not believe her boyfriend was involved. Keely, 16, was discovered last month almost two weeks after disappearing following an end-of-school party in Truckee, California. The Adventures with Purpose crew traveled from Oregon after being alerted about the case and managed to locate her vehicle, in Prosser Reservoir using sonar technology. They have been criticized for interviewing an alleged witness, named Nick, who appeared to describe seeing Keeley with a boy, in a black San Francisco Giants ball cap, facing forwards. Her boyfriend, Jagger Westfall, was seen, in a Fox TV interview wearing a black Giants cap, but has vehemently denied he ever attended the party amid online abuse. Nick, who works for an unnamed roadside assistance company, claimed to have helped who he believed was Keeley and a mystery boy after her car broke down. He alleged it was either Friday August 5th, or the day after, when the search began, and said he was suspicious of the boy she was with near Boca Reservoir. This week, Nevada County Sheriff's Office revealed they interviewed Jagger early, on, in an investigation, and say he is not a person of interest after, quickly ruling him out. But they have refused to comment, on whether they believe foul play was involved amid a, full investigation. Now, Doug Bishop, a, key member of Adventures with Purpose, has spoken exclusively to the U.S. Sun about the case, and the rumors surrounding Keeley's boyfriend. As far as the young man by the name of Jagger is concerned, we never mentioned his name, Bishop told the U.S. Sun. And the hat that was referenced, that I think everyone is trying to draw to him, there are millions of those hats, that are sold. As an organization, we do not consider anything like, that to be possible, he's not a, suspect, and we never named him as a, suspect whatsoever. Now, those conclusions are being drawn, and it's unfortunate, but the FBI has completely ruled him out. Obviously we don't want there to be any unnecessary harm, on anybody, that's not being done by us. This case was, in national headlines, and being covered by web sleuths before, we even came to town. The main thing, that the public needs to understand is we have never named, that young man, nor will we ever. A source said Westfall was annoyed with adventures with purpose putting out the YouTube video. How we found Keeley Rodney, murder or accident, as he has since received death threats. He thinks the video was for clout, and he got so much hate on social media, the pal told the US Sun. Jagger feels they made a mockery of this terrible accident. It disgusts him, and he's made it known. Keeley's family is supporting him, they do not think he was involved, and he is even living with them, at the moment. Mystery Sighting He, Jagger, has proof he has handed to law enforcement that shows he was not even, in the area. He was driving back from Napa Valley when, this man allegedly saw Keeley. Jagger believes it was an, accident, that she turned too fast while she was intoxicated, and ended up, in the water. Bishop said they did their background work, on witness Nick, and still stand by him 100%. But admit there is a possibility Keeley may have been with someone else, or it wasn't her at all. He said the majority of what they uncovered in Truckee, and while speaking with Nick, has been held back until the investigation is complete, but they do not yet know if it's relevant. The alleged witness has spoken to police, but it is unknown. If he has provided any video or photographic evidence of the couple he encountered, in Boke R. He previously told Bishop there were cameras, on his vehicle, at the time but that he didn't have access to the footage. Adding, that the boy, in question was wearing a, white bro tank. Bishop admits he's not convinced yet, that Keeley simply drove into the reservoir alone. After, she was found in the back of her submerged vehicle with one of the windows smashed. I think it's suspicious, 
But, it's now, in the hands of some of the best professionals, in the world, and we have to wait patiently, he said. As much as we deem the entire thing to be suspicious, it very well could just be an accident. He added, that whatever the conclusion is, it could result in an online storm as many continue to speculate. What happened to her, and whether anyone else was involved? Autopsy results. Bishop said their top of the range equipment, which was better than what law enforcement was using, was the reason they located Keeley in the reservoir. We specialize in something that they do not, so it's not a knock on them. It's just unfortunate. He added, that if it is revealed foul play was involved, or the results are inconclusive, he fears the public will blame law enforcement. Bishop insists adventures with purpose are not headline chasers, and, that the interviews they do are to get answers. And not to generate views, on YouTube. It would far benefit us to be controversial, but that's not how we operate, he told the US Sun. We really care about what we do. We really care about helping families. And we're gonna keep doing what we do. Bishop added, I'm not trying to make anything harder on them than it needs to be. Keeley's cause of death has not yet been confirmed due to a wait for toxicology results, sheriffs told the US Sun. Asked about the autopsy report, law enforcement provided a statement that read, There, Nevada County, Sheriff's Office does have possession of records responsive to your request. It should be noted, however, that, the investigation is not complete, and is considered ongoing, at this time. Once the investigation is complete, their, release will be pursuant to all privileges and or exemptions, that may apply. We expect the investigation, review, and redaction processes to be completed by November 1, 2022. They added, that if the records are still not available in two months, they will further advise the media of a new date they may be released.